Hey guys, I have, um, for today, I have some suggestions and uh, pieces of advice that I thought I'd like to share because I have, I have tips that I never get to, um, I never really get to uh, give them, you know, and uh, you can, you can think of these as suggestions or tips or advice, I'm just calling it suggestions uh, in the, in the title of the video. Um, there's three of them actually, there's three specific ones, uh, but they're in different categories. So I have one for economics, I have another for health, and I have another for um, literature in English, and um, I thought I'll give them just so I can uh, public publicly pass them down. So. I'm going to start with the economical one. Um, so my first tip on uh, in economics is how to save money on batteries. Now, for some of these tips, you're going to think I'm a big hypocrite. I should talk, or that I'm I'm one to talk or something. Um, but don't, despite some flaws that I'm going to explain about myself. Don't jump to conclusions and say, oh, Carrie, you're one to talk. I, I still have credibility and that I know what I'm talking about. So uh, here's, here's how you can save money on batteries. Now, you want to get, if you're, I usually do this with AA batteries because that's the only kind of batteries that I, that I buy. I don't, I don't often have things for AAA batteries or, um, other types of batteries. I, I do this for AA batteries. I'm sure they make them in others. But you want to get rechargeable ones. Now, the flaw with um, my economics is that I'm a horrible budgeter. I'm not good at budgeting. I don't really know anything about finance or um, interest and uh, uh, but I do know how to save money on batteries, is that you get rechargeable ones. Because um, batteries last up to like a month, maybe. And uh, they so, so they don't last long, technically. And if you get a regular battery, it's just going to fail. It's just going to, you know, fail on you. And they're about maybe 10, 15 bucks. So that's another 10 to 15 bucks every month. If you get rechargeable batteries, that's like... They they eventually fail because I've known the rechargeable batteries to stop. Um, uh, I've used them in cameras. When you put them in a camera, that it stops. Um, it it starts to run out run out of charge base uh, kind of quickly, and that's letting you know that they just they're just failing. So, rechargeable batteries they also don't last forever, but they last longer. So that's maybe three, four, five months, something like that, and that's so another 10 to 15 dollars every five months or whenever number of months and um, it's you're not spending as much you know I mean um, it's only batteries it's not clothes it's not food and it's not a uh, house payments and st it so there's still that but at least your batteries will last longer and that'll save you some trips to the store every time your regular non rechargeable batteries run out so I may be horrible at budgeting, but I know I can save money on rechargeable batteries. Now my next tip is health related, and again, you're going to call me a hypocrite here because I don't eat as healthy as I should, um, and I don't exercise. But if you're ever going to weigh yourself, you want to know how much you weigh, you should weigh yourself in the morning because that's when you're at your lightest weight. As you can see, I have a window up there, as you can see it's night, um, because that's when I'm recording this, because I'm busy Friday, but if you're, wa if you're watching this on a, watching this means it was uploaded on Fridays, it's just, I'm recording this the night before. And, uh, you want to weigh yourself in the morning, because at night, your, uh, your body is built up with all the food you ate, like, I had a big Italian meal, like, Italian dinner tonight, I didn't even finish it. I had to bring my leftovers home, and you you have, and you know, 
because you have so much because um, of your lunch and your dinner and stuff like that and you you're if you weigh yourself at night it's not really a true weight because you're sort of bloated you know and that has to wear off and that wear off that wears off in like the six or seven hours you sleep at night so then in the morning you're technically your lightest weight, which is technically your true weight. And I weighed myself earlier this morning and saw that I'm 220 pounds. Um, because I know that I wasn't weighing myself based on all the dinner that I ate. And I wasn't, uh, it wasn't just temporary bloating. It was, um, my lightest weight, which is in the morning. And... Again, this may... I mean, I, you don't have to be an exercise uh, superstar in order to know this. But just... Um, I mean, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with exercise or anything like that, but it's just that I'm giving you a health-related tip, and I don't keep healthy myself. I do, but maybe I'll, I... I do in some ways, um, but I'll save that for another segment sometime. Now I'm going to move on to my next suggestion. Now, with my third suggestion, I'm not a hypocrite, and I, I know what I'm talking about here. I, this is to do a lot of uh, crossword puzzles uh, and word puzzles and all that stuff. I, if you can see here, I have this big tower of crossword puzzles because I, I go to store, I go to like, I find them in bookstores or Walgreens, I find them every month, I, and I thought, you know, I, I want this... I was word puzzle because I love doing them. There's lots of word things in here, word puzzles, crossword puzzles, um, some puzzles involving numbers and math and stuff like that. And I say to do that to increase your knowledge in words and English and um, rhetoric. I have an enthusiasm for wordplay and puns and I love that I have a sense of humor and things like that. Um, just because, uh, and so some of these word puzzles do involve word plain puns and riddles, and I just, I love stuff like that, so I figure, I, th I think it's because of all these crossword puzzles that I do, and I do Sudoku sometimes, I'm not really into Sudoku, but I do like, I, well, when I do a Sudoku puzzle, I, I like it, I just don't have any of these, you know, puzzle books that are specifically meant for it, and, um, uh, even even word searches, you know, it's, uh, I have a book of word searches. Alright, it's a little tiny thing. Here, it's, it's so small because it's, uh, but, but there's a word search in there. Um, and even those help because they, they sort of, uh, train your sense of, um, uh, it's like that game concentration and uh, it kind of like trains your memory and your perception. Perception. I was trying to think of the word perception. And um, so it, it kind of it kind of does that for you. So those are my tips. One in uh, economics and saving money. One in health and knowing when is the right time to weigh yourself and things. And another to increase your um, literature, use of words, um, things and. Uh, I, I probably have more, but those were the most I can think of off the top of my head. And, uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll have more. I just wanted to keep today's segment, um, fairly short and not, um, give too much information. So, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I would love, I would love more subscribers, please.